Oh boy. From one long mission to one uh, mission, it's time for us to jump headfirst into what is arguably considered to be the hardest mission in the entire game. Danger Times 9. Another hidden enemy lab uncovered. Seize the plans for the new weapon. <laughs> According to the map we recovered, the lab should be somewhere around here. So, the Finny Booters are working on some sort of new tank? Hmm, perhaps. From what we know, the contingent guarding the place is fairly small. Ah, then if we're gonna attack, we should do it now. I agree. N now is the time to move. Wow. Uh, what? What is it? You two can actually agree on something. Hmm. Since we're both taking the plans with the well-being of Green Earth in mind, it's only natural that there's some crossover of options. Roger. That's really what it boils down to, isn't it? We both want to save Green Earth. <laughs> okay, okay, say no more. There is one concern, though. They must have caught on to what we were after because the enemy currently has an overwhelming force headed this way. Uh. Do we have an established arri arrival time? According to our intel, at the current rate of advance, we'll arrive in 10 days. Woo! So we gotta capture the land before it, that happens. It's gonna be a hectic nine days. Hectic it is! We got our choice between Eagle, Drake, or Jess. We're gonna go with Eagle because time is literally of the essence here. Well, well. I actually wonder if it is even possible to complete this mission with Drake. I guess... Uh, I guess with Typhoon, you really could whittle down the enemy's health to the point that it could be possible to completely wipe out the garrison. But in terms of, I need to get troops into position uh, fast. Yeah, we need to go with Eagle for this one. <laughs> Ground units are my thing, but I'd be lying to say I wasn't curious about taking this new tank for a spin. Alright, thankfully, we got a lot of properties to our name. Our mission, should we choose to accept it, is to either completely wipe out the garrison as usual, or take the lab that is up here in the corner. It's actually considered to be a lot easier to just wipe out the garrison that's here instead of attacking the lab and going for that because of the way, like, the, the position everything's laid out, because, well, yes, there is a pipe seam right here that, we, if we can destroy it, will basically get, guarantee us a one-way ticket to the lab itself. And the nine days that we have to do this, we don't get a whole lot of leeway. So, for the time being, I'm going to get some infantry out. We're going to get... Let's get a battle copter out. And I'm just going to hold out on what we have right now. Let's get the force moving, get everybody into position, and get ready for a slugfest. Yeah, it is. Just in range. As long as that battleship stays in the reef, though, there is actually a small squadron of battlecopters over in the water. But as long as our battleship is hidden and they don't accidentally get uh, discovered, we'll be able to deal with the copters, no problem. Though, with the way these guys are flying, I'm gonna guess they're probably going to catch the cruiser and then subsequently catch the battleship. Alright, uh, crap. 
I actually can't even position anybody there because the Battlecopter's blocking away. Oh, wait, no. I can do this. There we go. Hello there. Let's get a tank. In the meantime, we'll start taking the airport down here, and we'll move you guys up here to take the city. It's not really wise to do focus a lot on this area right here because you only have a base. I guess if you're Jess and you've got a medium tank down here, then that that's one thing. But with the fact that we're going with Eagle, that's a completely different story because we want to focus mainly on getting these airports. Let's get an artillery though. That way we can show whatever comes around the pipe to attack the main force. Sure. Yeah, I think just a little bit. Hmm. Now this is a bit of a bind. We'll have to sacrifice our battle copter, unfortunately, but at the same time, I can always just get a fresh one, but we need to deal with these rockets. It's not going to be much, but at least it'll knock it down a couple of uh, numbers. Get another interior unit. Well, it was nice knowing that cruiser. Is that medium? Oh, that was a medium. I guess, if anything, this is a good distraction to keep those mediums, anti airs, and regular tanks from overwhelming our forces down here. Is it for a bomber G? 
just yet. We'll deal with the APC first. Yeah, that's not going to do me any good, to be honest, because that artillery tank combos can be more than enough to wipe out whatever comes this way. There we go. Okay, now that we got what really matters, we can now finally start making a push to either take out the last of his units or make a beeline for the lab. How many days do we have left? I think it was like down to six? Five. The artillery decided to go away. You know what? Why not? Let's get a transport copter built so I can. I probably should build infantry there, not an anti air vehicle. Oh, wait, no, I didn't build an anti air vehicle. I just put it over there. Actually, you know what? Let's build a transport right here and we'll just fly up. I don't know why I built a transport all the way over there. Alright, 
four days. Might not be able to make it to the lab, but we should be able to route his forces. I must commend you. I almost talk this out to do this. But... Black Storm. All right, bad news is that he did that. Good news, at least, I believe that... Right, rockets. Aside from those rockets, the artillery, that light tank, and the medium tanks that are coming up this way, that should be the last of his units down there. Any ants here. Can't forget about the ants here. I'm really regretting building that transport copter up there, not gonna lie. back down here. Either way, it's going to take two shots to deal with those guys. one target that I actually wanted you to target because now you just basically gave my medium tank a free reign to come in and absolutely wreck your shit. And you are still hellbent on taking out those guys up there, huh? Two. 
Unfortunately, not enough to uh, take you out. And I'm going to need to play super smart if he decides to hide his units in the forest just to waste a day. So if that's the case, uh, I'm going to go with infantry just because they're cheap and also because I just need something to recon a forest for the bombers and tanks. I oh, should send you down there as well if that's the case. Last day's coming up. Uh, okay. Day nine already. Sheesh. All right. Let's clean this up. Care of those tanks. Well, tank uh, singular. Take care of the rockets. This time it is four. And finally, let's finish off that tank. It would actually been pretty poetic if the mech, if it actually went down to where the mechs were, and they'd be the ones that finish it off because of the fact that these tanks have been hounding my mech units down there all uh, match. But wow, I'm actually surprised I was able to do that in one go. Well, did you find the plans for the new tank? I heard they've just been found. <laughs> Excellent. That brings us one step closer to matching the enemy's strength. <laughs> uh-huh. And looking forward to trying out these new tanks. Ah. Finally, a chance to demonstrate my secret specialty. Hmm. Your specialty? I didn't know tanks could fly. Leave those new tanks to me. You know, I can handle them better, Flyboy. <laughs> Who's a flyboy? If we leave these new tanks at your hand, you'll drive them straight into another volcano. Oh. I dare you to say that again, Eagle. <laughs> Knock it off, you two! Oh, you're making me seasick. Put all the back and forth, and I don't even get seasick. Do you think we could outfit these tanks with rotary wings? I mean... If my playthrough of Kaiju Wars is anything to go by, you could uh, attach like a VTOL system to them and make them fly. Nah, that's stupid. Either way, S rank. Also, one thing I'd like to note Did Jess accidentally drive a tank into a volcano once because of what Eagle said? 